Hello there, today we're going to connect to a MySQL database using Java and the Eclipse IDE. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, database. We're going to create a table in that database, then we're going to record, uh, we're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to create a record using PHP admin. Then we're going to go out to the web, download the JDBC connector that will allow us to connect to our database using Java, and then we're going to open the Eclipse IDE. We're going to create a project, we're going to configure it, and then we're going to create that Java class uh, where we're going to connect to our database. Okay, so the first thing that we uh, you probably need to do is, um, if, you, if you haven't done so already, is install WAMP onto your computer if you're using Windows. I've already installed it, and um, I'm going to go to PHP My Admin. Um, to make things easy for us. So uh, here we are, PHP my, uh, my admin. Let's go to the home page. Uh, when you're here at the home page, you'll notice uh, to your right here you've got this create new database section. Um, I'm just going to type in test db and I'm going to say create. And notice that I have this new uh, database that was created over here, create new uh, table on database test db. So I'm going to call my table names. Number of fields, I'm going to give it two fields. One field for first name, one field for last name. So the first field I'm going to call first, second one I'm going to call last. Um, these are going to be varchar, so a string of a string data type. Length values, let's make each 30. Um, we, don't have to worry, we don't have to worry about the rest here. And I'm just going to scroll down. We're going to say save. There we go. All right. So I created my table, and I created these. Um, I created these uh, two fields. Uh, I'm going to go to insert now, and I'll put some data into those fields. So um, I'm going to say value first. Let's do John Smith, and I'm going to say uh, go. So I just inserted that row into there. Uh, for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another one. So let's say insert, um, let's say uh, Jane Adams, go, and let's do one more. Um, let's go to insert and let's let's do uh, Jim um, Jiminy. All right, so I've got three fields in this database now. And uh, let's see here, if I go to SQL, and if I do uh, select all from names, if I click go, this should show that I've got three records in there. So we've got a database, we've got a table, and we've got some, uh, we've got some records in that database. Uh, we're now ready to go ahead and uh, grab the uh, the JDBC uh, connector file that we need. So I would just go to Google and the best search you can do is JDBC connector connector MySQL. That should take you pretty much straight to the MySQL page that you're going to need. should take you to HTTP MySQL.com products connector come down here and this is the one that you want. You want the JDBC driver for MySQL. So you're going to click download um, platform independent, you got it, and I like to download the zip stuff here, so I click download. Just take me to the downloads, man, and let's download from Chicago. And it's like 3.8 megabytes, it's not very large, so it'll download, and once it does, we can just go to that folder. So here's the file. As you can see, I've downloaded this before, but I'm just doing it again. Uh, just to go through the steps, I'm going to go to, let's see, 7-zip, and let's say extract to this. We want to just extract the files. So I extract stuff. Here we are. And this is the folder that you want. This is the important folder. So I would take this folder. I would do copy and I would put it somewhere. Um, I'm going to put this folder out here on my desktop. Okay, so here we are. And uh, this is the file right here that we're going to be using. This is the file that you have to have to connect to that SQL database. All right, let's go ahead and let's open up Eclipse. 
So I'm opening up my Eclipse from scratch here. Like I've got a brand new workspace. Let's go to our workbench, and here we are. We're you know everything's blank, and we're uh, just gonna go ahead and set things up. We go to File, New. We want Java Project. I'm gonna call this my SQL connection. If I can, uh, can I spell that right? There we go. Connection. Uh, we want to use Java 1.6, sure, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to finish. First thing you're going to do, you're going to come over here. You're going to maximize this. You're going to come over to this JRE system library. So this right here, um, these are the base uh, jar files that come with uh, uh, Java SE and that are automatically imported. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of packages in here, and then we've got these classes that are included. Uh, we're going to include uh, that JDBC connection file that we need and all you have to do is just say right click, you're going to say build path, you're going to say configure build path. This uh, should pop up and you're going to say add external jars. So in here you're going to, I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to go to the folder that I downloaded and I'm going to select this jar file I'm going to click open. And notice that this um, jar file is now showing up in here. I'm going to click OK. And what do you know? It's now located underneath reference library. So now we have access to that whenever we want to build our Java stuff. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, New. I'm going to say Class. I'm going to, I'm going to call this uh, Main. I am going to copy and paste uh, some stuff I've already got. First thing that you're going to do, let me get rid of this. I'm going to say test db. There we go. Select all from name. And now we should be good. Let me expand this so you can see what's going on. You could use this same exact code. So I've got my public class right here. Um, and then I've got my public static void uh, method right here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to access the driver from the jar file. And to do that, you say class.forname, and then you say com.mysql jdbc driver. And if you want to, you can actually come over here and you can actually look at that actual class. So it's in here. Where's uh, com.mysql jdbc? No, it, oh, wrong one. I clicked on the wrong one. So com MySQL JDBC, and there it is. There's driver. That's what we're using right there. Okay, so let's look at this again. After we uh, declare this statement, we're going to create a variable um, called connection. I'm just saying con right here for connection. So we're going to use driver manager, get connection, and here's where you connect to your database. So JDBC MySQL localhost 3306. This is the port. This right here is what your uh, local machine is using to, uh, to you know, recognize. basically it's the gateway to uh, this port. And then you've got um, the name of your database and then your password, root, root. Um, so again, this is the database. Root is the database user. Root is the password. Uh, here we create our query. So we say prepared statement, statement, con dot prepared statement, select all from name. And then we're creating our uh, variable to execute the query right here. And then we just use a while loop and we're grabbing um, the two different fields. So one is the first field in the table, two is the second field. Uh, notice that I've got some errors right here. All I have to do is do a control shift O. All right, Java SQL, yes, Java SQL connection. So you'll have these import statements up here at the, at the, at the top. So before you run, make sure you check this uh, real quick. Make sure everything's uh, correct in here with your semi, with your colons. I think I had one right there accidentally. Make sure you've got your, uh, the name of your, your table correctly in here. Make sure it's select all from names. Let's go ahead and let's run this. Let's see what happens. Oh, and there we go. So we just accessed uh, that MySQL database using our Java program. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you later.